You know, I've been to uh, 91 different dinosaur exhibits. Uh, the animatronic one's been following them for years. I've actually helped set up 30 of the different animatronic exhibits, and I've never seen one as unique as what you guys are creating here. You've got a forest that was built 200 years ago just for the dinosaur exhibits. They're the actual trees that lived they were here during the time of the dinosaurs, the giant redwoods, and you have some of the most ed scientifically advanced dinosaurs. Dinoricus is a, a large raptor, like Velociraptor from the movies, but a much bigger version, and this is the first time ever that we've actually shown it with fully feathered. All the evidence now points that the raptor family generally were completely covered with feathers, for, for either for camouflage, for um, maybe display. We're not really sure why. This is our Chitty Patty. Chitty Patty is a relatively new di newer dinosaur. They're very similar looking to like an emu. There's a great connection between them in the sense that our modern birds being modern dinosaurs, um, it's in a group of dinosaurs called the Oviraptors. Oviraptor means egg thief because when they first found them, they thought they were stealing eggs out of a nest Instead, 80 years later, we found out they were inside those eggs were baby oviraptors and they were protecting the nest. Baryonyx, this is an amazing dinosaur. The fish that we're having it is a prehistoric carp. The bones were found in a skeleton of a baryonyx. And this one, everyone's gonna know a lot more about it after June because it's in the new Jurassic World movie. This is an incredible Utah Raptor. I can't wait to see it with the noise and the motion and all the movement that this, like all the other dinosaurs. The new Allosaurus. We have brand new science on Allosaurus and this head is the first time we've ever even shown that on an animatronic Allosaurus. And you've got to hear it in Newtonburg? Yeah. <laughs> I always pronounce it wrong, I think. 